Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome. Now due to the success of my tiny TNT cannon, I thought I'd get to work on another TNT propulsion device. However, this one is a little bit beefier, you can see it's slightly larger, it doesn't have the same absolutely tiny profile of the other one, but it's got an increased range, and it also has a couple of tricks up its sleeve, and I'll get onto those in a little bit. So in front of us you can see our launch zone and immediately you may notice a couple of things. Due to the tragic Portaloo explosion of May 2013, I have done my utmost to protect my lavatory. In front of it you can see this absolutely giant wall that is there to catch any stray TNT and also I have put the Portaloo off centred so that hopefully no TNT comes nearby because you guys have no idea what I went through in the time that I didn't have that toilet. So many bushes were liberated, I apologised to my neighbours, it wasn't the cat, that was me. But that's enough chit chat, our portaloo has been rebuilt and also we've got ourselves a TNT cannon to fire so let's take a look at it. Just hit this button here, you'll see our TNT gets dispensed as usual. We'll get well within the firing zone so we can get a good look at what's happening and that. What? What? Oh, for f <sighs> I guess you could say it was his time to go. He's in a better place now, so I've moved on. I guess the only thing we've got left to do now is to crack on with the tutorial, so let's go. So, you want to get things started with a 5x3 area. Your TNT curvy cannon is going to be facing in this direction. Now, the way that it curves is up to you. I'll explain how you can chop and change that when it comes to it. But you just want to start off with this area. Then on this end, you want to place your fence posts. You want to place dispensers round like this in a little circle on either side. So just repeat that on this side as well. Dispensers looking round like that. And then pressure plates on top of your fence posts here with water buckets in these little holes like that. So you should end up with something looking a little bit like this. Now on either edge of your pressure plates you want to place a three high wall. You can use whatever blocks you like. I just prefer to use glass because it looks nicer. Just want to do that on both sides like the other. And then you just want to place a half slab like this on either side and that will stop your TNT from flying out to one side and things like that. Then you just want to place a block up like this so that you can place a dispenser facing downwards. That is going to be your launcher TNT. And once again you just want to do this on this side like that. Now, here comes the interesting part. We're going to be doing the redstone for it. Now, if you want the TNT cannon to curve to the right, follow exactly what I'm doing here. If you want it to curve to the left, however, you're going to have to take what I'm doing and sort of switch it over. So you want to place two blocks like this. Your button is going to be going on that block there. You want to place a redstone torch and a block up like that. We'll get onto that in a little bit. You want to place redstone dust on top of this dispenser, two blocks here and one block there, and then just run redstone all the way around like this. And then over here, you just want to place half slabs on the edge of all this redstone dust just to cover it up like that. Then you want to place a half slab over here, redstone dust on that with a block like that. You should hear that dispenser click. Then you want to run blocks all the way along here, block like this, block there, and then a block on the edge of that dispenser. Grab your repeaters and set all of them to four ticks all the way along here, and then your redstone dust right there. I would actually advise in changing this block out here for a half slab with redstone dust on top because this dispenser might actually detect a bud and fire at the wrong time and that could in turn blow up your entire mechanism which obviously is not desirable. It would appear I've forgotten something. As has just been demonstrated, there is extremely important that you fill in this centre area, otherwise the TNT may fall down and get trapped in this section, and of course that will blow up the whole machine, which is fairly frustrating. So all that's left for you to do now is fill in all the TNT in the dispensers, but once that's all done, we can give it a quick tester. Just hit your button, you'll see the TNT dispensers, then one dispensers, then the other, and they will be fired off into the distance, and then this one will curve off, creating a nice big old explosion over there. So that seems to be working very well. So there we have it guys, you have built yourself a curvy cannon in vanilla Minecraft and it certainly wasn't that hard was it? But unfortunately that's all I've got time for for today so if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit that like button. If you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out, I'll see you later.